big missile silos. There is a washdown, but sometimes manual is best. Right into my cesspool. It's about two days of foam in each skimmer. Sulfur reactors here. Denitrate water. I'm going to have to change this one to bigger. Things. The computer at high voltage. My VFDs and uh, all my PLC stuff and automations in this cabinet. Custom software. This is the quarantine room. The quarantine inverts and no medication. And in here, this is system number one. This is system number two. Uh, currently the only system that has fish in it and we're using chloroquine phosphate in here for these pile fish. Basically some uh, clean oasis. System 3 is empty, taking a rest. System 4 and 5 are over here. They're also empty. This is a thousand gallon system. separate them on these bio balls. Each one of these systems have, has its own bio balls. This is the big SAM filter for the uh, big system. We run um, inert glass media in here. Here's the, a big UV sterilizer. Let's see. It's actually uh, 10 bulbs at 350 watts each. About 300,000 microjoules and 3,500 watts. Each one of these on the floor here of this pull up, there are huge vats, water storage in my sub basement. One five thousand and two twenty five hundred gallon vats. So we have ten thousand gallons of water storage. These are the industrial RODI machines. Um, we basically can make about ten thousand gallons a day of RODI water with these two machines. Built in TDS meter. We basically drip our water, our evaporation water, this is about a 45, 48 gallon uh, jug, and that's about my evaporation in 24 hours. Make the water up every day, and uh, put some cork washer in there and drip it overnight. This is for the other system, the Pepper Angel and Mast Angel systems. On a liter meter. These two tanks are attached to the system. This one actually leaked to 300 dd. Um, we're gonna replace the system and throw some coral in here first to see how it goes before um, the fish attack it in the other, in the big tank. I'm running the large GFO, uh, the grower fox phosphate control, which basically just plumbed into the pipes, the big system. There's an elevator here that goes outside for large items, yeah, salt, etc. Comes down. Talking about salt. We use ESV liquid salts, there's not much left. We need a new batch. And then I'm gonna go downstairs to the sub basement in a different video and show you the sumps 
and the filters 